finding the first terms of a sequence using a recursive rule. Suppose that a sequence is defined as follows. a sub 1 equals 2, and a sub n equals negative 3 times a sub n minus 1, for all n greater than or equal to 2. List the first four terms of the sequence. All right, all this n greater than 2, greater than or equal to 2 means is that we can't go backwards past the first term of the sequence. So this just says we need to keep moving onwards. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so forth. So this, although that tells us that we can't go backwards, doesn't really impact how we do this problem. So it says list the first four terms of the sequence. So I'm trying to list the first four terms of the sequence. My answer needs to have four numbers like that. Now, lucky for me, they tell me that the first term of the sequence, a sub, n, or a sub 1, is 2. There's my first answer. That's a gimme. Okay? Now, I, so this is a sub 1. So in order to find a sub 2, I'm going to do this formula. So I want to find a sub 2, which means I'm going to do negative 3 times a sub 2 minus 1, because I want to find 2, not n. Well, 2 minus 1 is actually negative 3 times a sub just 1, because 2 minus 1 is 1, which means I have to just go take the previous term. So usually this a n minus 1 just means the term before. So if I'm trying to find the second term, I go back and use the previous term. So I'm going to have negative 3 times 2, which we know is negative 6. So my a sub 2 is negative 6. To find my third term, which we call a sub 3, I'm going to do a similar uh, thing. I want to find a sub 3. So instead of n, I'm using 3 because that's what I'm trying to figure out. So a sub 3 equals negative 3 times a sub 3 minus 1, which is a sub 2, because that's the previous term. So then I have negative 3 times my previous term, a2, is negative 6. So I have that a sub 3 equals negative 3 times negative 6 is a positive 18. Okay? So last but not least, I need to find this a sub 4. I'm going to do a similar thing. Instead of a sub n, I'm trying to find a sub 4. So I'm going to plug 4 in for n. So I have a sub 4 equals negative 3 times a sub 4 minus 1, or the previous term, a sub 3. So I'm going to do negative 3 times 18. Now if I do negative 3 times 18, I know it's going to be negative because it's a negative and a positive, so I'm going to have negative 3 times 18, and I'm going to get negative 54. So I see that a sub 4, or the fourth term of my sequence, is negative 54. So they give you the first one, then you use this first one here to plug into the equation and get the second one. Then to find the third one, you plug in the second one into the equation to get the third one. To find the fourth one, you use the third one, plug it into the equation, get the fourth one. That's it.